Welcome back to the channel. It's going to be tricky. Tricky, 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 tricky. Because I don't think this is going to hold it all. Nope, we got a little, got a little bit there so dogs don't get into it. Dogs get into it, we're going to have a real problem. Troja's four-eyed nose. Whoa, shit, he ain't in gear. Um, yeah, oh, Trojan, poor Trojan, poor Trojan, poor Trojan. Y'all stop with poor Trojan. We can't have every single car running. We just, we can't. We can't afford it. <laughs> and then it gets, uh, it gets a little, like, stagnated where I'm like, Oh, okay, well, guess what? This car's got GT40s and a carburetor. Guess what? This car's got GT40s and a carburetor. Guess what? This car's got GT40s and a carburetor. And it's like, you know, we can't afford transmissions to have like nice transmissions to have powerful cars. I feel like I explained this a lot. I don't know why. I just feel like I do. Um, so some of it is we combine some of the stuff try and do more racing maybe more motivation um because it, it i mean it gets overwhelming where you just don't want to do anything i gotta work on the van i gotta work on the lincoln i gotta work on this car i gotta work on the silver car literally the only car i don't have to work on is basically the ltd the failed td is like the only thing i don't really have to work on i gotta work on the brain i mean I, i've got it's a lot plus it's a lot of money it's a lot of time and it gets to the point sometimes where you're like, you know what, I just don't want to do anything. Especially if you're not motivated. You're not visioned. You don't see it. Now, I will be the first to admit, I'm not 100% in love with this look. The car, for me, needs like a rear wing on the car. And then I can live with it the way it looks. Because I don't really pay attention to it with these wheels and stuff on it. It looks like a piece of garbage. I'm okay with my car looking like a piece of garbage but it has to look a certain way as a piece of garbage. So I'm going to have to do something about the wing on the back. I thought about taking this hood, putting it back on the LTD, putting scoop on this car. And I was like, nah, kind of, I went back and looked at some pictures, kind of like the LTD with the scoop. So uh, I'll just end up finding a wing somewhere. I mean, eventually I'll find one cheap, I guess, somewhere. Got some other stuff to do. What are we going to do right now? Well, we got to do the clutch thing. I'm still kind of thinking that through. Um, but one thing we don't have to think through is lightening up the hatch. I love destroying, so I don't love destroying stuff. I just seem to be kind of good at it. So we're going to take the hatch off and then we're going to cut it up and we're going to mount our Lexan deal on it and see where we're, see where we're at. Also going to look at doing a few other little things here and there. Um, off weekend for test and tune, so we don't have to worry about going to that. Uh, but I would like to start on the clutch stuff, get the hatch done and then start probably on the clutch stuff make a decision about this. All right. Um, and as far as the hurricane, we didn't get touched. If you've never, if you don't live in an area where they have hurricanes, then if you're on the lee side of it, like if this is Florida, here's Orlando and whatnot, we're up here in the northwest corner. When you're on the, the hurricane, does like this. So if you're on the lee side of it, like us, you don't hardly get anything. It sucks everything from us, basically. And so our weather looks like this. Um, but the people, but if you're on this side of it, the east side of it, woo, that's no joke. That That's a bad spot to be because you're getting hammered with the wind and the rain. It is, it's some nasty business. That ain't no joke. So there's people in the bend area. If you're up in that, where that thing tracked through, I feel sorry. I feel for you because that, that hurricanes, they ain't no joke, man. They, they'll get after it, so. Anyway, so we were fine. Appreciate everybody said, you know, hey, be safe. So we're good. And now we're going to get to work. Okay, we got sidetracked. We're, here. <laughs> we're working on this steering column. Look at that right there. It looks like a, this is like kidnapping. Um, our race column that we're going to use in Trojan uh, because it's cheap. We didn't have to spend any money on it. It is. Just as it sits right now, it is 11 pounds. 
so whenever the uh, we take the other one out and put this one in, I'll let you know what the weight savings is. I'm gonna scratch it up. Uh, we also weighed our hatch. It is 59.7 pounds as it sits right now. That's no wiring. That's no molding around the back window. That's no rear spoiler. That's no uh, wiring in it or anything. This is also a non rear defrost window. I don't know if that makes a real difference as far as the weight of the glass or anything like that, but this car did not have rear window defrost. Um, so take that into account. Uh, so yeah, now we're just gonna cut, now we're gonna cut the metal out of it. Now this hatch also has some rust right in here and stuff like that, so it's not a great hatch. Uh, actually, the hatch we cut up that's now on silver car was better than this hatch. So we're gonna cut this up and we're gonna take the glass out of it and uh, see what we end up with. But we're at 59.7 right now, so I'm hoping we can get, you know, between the glass and the metal, if, if we can get 20 pounds, I'll have to call that a win. And then of course counting the latch and the molding and stuff was, I weighed it, it was like four pounds. So that'd be, you know, right at 24, 25 pounds, I could take that. So you could also put a little bit thinner Lexan in the rear and that would probably save another pound or two, but we got what we got because the price was right. Sometimes you gotta weigh value versus weight loss and sometimes it's yeah, not worth the effort or whatever, not worth the money. So um, anyway, here we go. Come over here and cheap though. I ain't got to run dead for it. Oh God. Yeah, Jim. Shelby, don't take that crap off that one. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, looking good now. It also doubles up as a razor trap. Anyone tries to get in the hatch, they'll get their doggone finger slides slap off. So, anywho, uh, might look at taking the glass out now. Just okay, we got the glass out with the butyl, basically all the rubber and stuff. That's no trim molding. It is 22 and a half pounds with what you see here in that little wadded up bit of butyl. 22 and a half pounds. The Lexan is 11.1 pounds. So um, I'll use a few, I'll use a few uh, bolts to bolt it in and probably a little bit of sealant with nothing, nothing like this, but a little bit of sealant just for the heck of it. Um, so yeah, that's a, uh, uh, 14 pounds, wait a minute, no, that's 11 pounds. That's an 11 pound weight savings between the glasses. Let's call it 11. 11 pounds between the glasses. We got 11 pounds, that one piece of metal was 11 pounds. So that's 22 pounds. Plus uh, we had four pounds for the latch assembly and the uh, wiring that was in here and with the uh, uh, what you jigger the uh, molding but 59 we were at 59.7 and we've taken out basically 22 pounds so we still got some more metal to cut that's not going to make a huge amount probably you know three or four five six pounds maybe if we could get eight pounds that would be sweet i just i don't see eight pounds in there but you know that give us that give us uh you know 30 pounds out of the hatch i don't think we're going to quite get there but still better off better than nothing so um anyway let me uh i think i'll cut a little bit more i'm gonna get a drink cut a little bit more and you know make a progress just dropped our back window in just to see how it's going to fit we uh trimmed the uh, side piece, the nubs for the uh, clips for the trim. Trim them off so it will drop in a little cleaner. But with the holes already drilled, 
that's pretty sweet. We can just uh, go ahead and drill some holes. We ain't got to put every one of these bolts. I mean, it was riveted in, I guess, but we'll just use some bolts like we did on our windows on it. Uh, the silver car, the doors we got on there, same way we'll probably do the doors that are on a, a Trojan <laughs> right now. So anyway, I still got to cut this out. I've been reading some stuff on the hurricane up in Helene. Guys up there in Tennessee, Kentucky, North Carolina, South Carolina, man, you guys are getting some flooding. I feel for you. It's a rough business. Um, anyway. All right, let's get back to it for a little bit. Got the sides cut out. We still got to do the center um, of, the, of the hinge area. We got three pounds out of the two sides. So that puts us at a total savings of right at 29 pounds and probably what center we were hoping to get, hoping to get 30 pounds. So I think we're going to be right at that. I mean, of course we'll weigh it after we got it put together. So we're hoping it's, you know, I hope it weighs around 30 pounds or so, which would be right at 30 pounds of weight savings. So anyway, uh, yeah, working on it. Then we got to, you know, drill a hole, put a hood pin in it. So making progress. Yes, say action, bitch. Action. Yes, it's say action, bitch. Action. This is a family-rated channel, except for the fact that... Does it look family-rated right this minute? Not really. I've been working outside all day, guys. Really? She's just making fun of my shirt, said I had a hole in it. That's so you can access my navel. Oh. He's been mowing the lawn. Oh, <laughs> not been mowing the lawn. Yeah, no, I was making a joke. You see that? Like, I should have been a wrestler. I miss my calling in life. Oh, Jesus Christ, this thing's tougher than it looks. How about this? You guys know where the nearest bank is? Okay, turn it off. I'm done being stupid. I didn't get, that's their shock treatment for the day. All right, uh, we have put the grinding wheel. The window has a little bit of a lip for like a channel for like the butyl to sit in. So we ground that down a little bit to help the Lexan sit a little bit more flush. No, we probably didn't get it 100% and all that kind of stuff. We also got the uh, center section cut out. So got that. Now we're looking at <sighs> doing the putting the window in kind of thought about maybe shooting some paint on it real quick so on the edges i don't know i don't know we may do that we're done got it all thirty three point two so we were we were 59.7 and now we're 33.2 and that's a, a so that's what 26 and a half plus Realistically, with the latch and the moldings and the wiring was another right around, it was four four pounds plus, so we got right at 30 pounds out of it. So, still gotta put a hood pin in it, and that's gonna, it's aluminum, so it's not gonna be light, it's not gonna be heavy, and aluminum, piece of aluminum, so that's not even a pound, not even, maybe half a pound. So, like I say, right at 30 pounds is what is what we'll call it we'll round it however you want to look at it 30 pounds uh and it cost us uh 50 bucks plus we used i went every other screw so it cost us 50 bucks plus some screws so that's pretty good value and if you take if you add in the wing the wing was 16 pounds so that's not that I ran it with the wing on it, but in the past, anyway, whatever. It's it's lightened up. I feel better now. That was I, I didn't like that run up going up there, knowing before it had ran what it had ran with. Well, actually, we actually did pretty good because hold on, I'll be right back. So when we ran Trojan before, even though we had the lightweight hatch on, we did have a spoiler on it that is not showing up, so it's not that heavy. But, okay. that 
That spoiler is 11 pounds. Okay, that spoiler is 11 pounds. So, technically speaking, we're actually <laughs> right at 11 pounds lighter than we were when we ran Trojan back in, we ran it before with a lightweight hatch on, back when he went 695. So, we're back to where we were, plus the door weight, the door weights plus some other stuff. So I feel good. We just gotta, we gotta get the clutch stuff figured out and uh, we'll uh, be ready to go. I might, I think I'm just gonna do the, pull the clutch out of this. I gotta take the transmit, I gotta do that anyway. So I might as well do it here and that's, I gotta do it sometime. Might as well start doing it now. I don't want to, but we all gotta do things we don't wanna do. So anyway. All right, cool. Well, let me, I gotta bolt that on and we still gotta make our thing, so let me get to it. Got it bolted on. Boom. We also changed the taillights. Got rid of the cheese graters. Uh, all right, um, that's gonna wrap this video up. I know we spent a whole video doing a hatch. What a pathetic, but. It is what it is. <laughs> um, we're making pro We're working on the car. That's all that really matters, isn't it? That we're working on cars, um, getting some stuff done. Getting, we're getting motivated. You guys are getting motivated. What are you whistling for? Did you whistle out here, girl? I, oh, I feel. Hold it back. So. Uh, Hope you guys appreciated the skin show. If you didn't. Um, anyway, so yeah, work on a car, we're motivated. You guys are getting motivated. It's getting cooling off a little bit. We can go out and do some racing, do some horsing around. Uh, I might cut the grass. Let's nobody get crazy about that. Um, but thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. We couldn't do it without you. We wouldn't do it without you. You saw it during the summer. We don't, we do it because it's fun, not because we have to. Um, but, especially, thanks for watching. And until next time on the Substandard Leader and Fox Body videos on this year man's YouTube, one year, push rod, twin turbo, five speed, Lincoln town cars, four drag vans, proud owner, proprietor, trying to get the doors open, putting a fresh lick of paint on it and all that kind of stuff, changing the bar stools around, of Club Big Boost. And as always, fighting a good fight, Against those zombie Mustangs, we are gonna get back on that at some point. And that rascal Dr. Fear. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video, which I guess will be us doing a clip.